We are live. Welcome everyone. Thursday night, Shredders Unite business call. I'm going to record this on the computer as well. Good evening, everyone. Special time, new time, first of December. And uh, we have a very, very special call. Sean, are you, you're on? Awesome. Um, I thought, Sean, what we could do is I will tee, I'll tee you up, let you tee it up, but with Colin and um, bottom line is tonight's going to be a pure business call. We're going to give you some nuggets. We're going to give you some literally the, the essence of the business. And we're going to build upon what we've been talking about. <clears throat> um, Brittany Greenlaw cannot make it. I don't, she said she's putting the kids to bed. Um, that said, we're going to build upon last week, the, the previous times where we're talking about vibrational energy, law of attraction, cleansing the body, getting yourself right as we come alive with ER Shred. More than anything, we become happier, we're more energized, and as a result, we become more magnetic. When that happens, people notice and they're attracted to us. So our goal, obviously, where it's appropriate, is to share with people what we've been doing. I mean, that truly is the business. With that in mind, I'm going to bring Sean on because Sean had a beautiful idea and we were literally sharing kind of concepts and easy business processes that will duplicate, that are understandable, that will lead to your success. So Sean, can you, can, can you join us? I'm here, Bob. Awesome. So um, I want you to announce what this new rule is, and then we can kind of just build upon it. Um, but go ahead and why don't you share with the group your thought? Yeah. And Thank you. Thank you so much. And I almost feel like um, you're just so cool that way, Bob, to to want to give me credit. But really, credit goes to, um, uh, you know, Colin's uncle, Patrick Greenlaw. Um, Patrick came from a different line of work. And, and after I kind of share what this principle is, then I think Bob could tell you more about Patrick um, in terms of, you know, his background and his, his bio. Um, but I'll just say that I met Patrick Greenlaw through Peter Greenlaw, um, their brothers. And Peter was one of my main mentors as he was, you know, Bob's, one of Bob's main mentors, of course, and Collins. Um, and so Patrick was different. Patrick really got, I noticed something about Patrick. He was very into the, the mission and the purpose and the cause around this type of a business model. Um, there was a lot of depth there with Patrick and he, he was very genuine. Uh, he was the kind of guy that would come into the room and, and just light up the whole room and everybody would feel better if they had the opportunity to meet him. Um, he has since passed and, and uh, that's one of the reasons why we want to pay tribute to this special man. And again, I'm not going to tell you what he did for a living or any of that or who he met and all of that, because um, Bob was like best friends with Patrick. And I think Bob should tell that. But um, the Patrick principle was born of Patrick Greenlaw looking at the way that uh, network marketing was being taught from what he saw. And what was being taught was you need to land the big fish. You need to land the networker. You need to, in order for you to be wildly successful, you need business people, business people, business people, business, and that has to be the focus. Whereas Patrick, he determined based on his observation that it could be done in a very pure and let's just call it, um, it could be done in a way that, you know, Minus all the, uh, the enticement, minus all of the, uh, you know, flashing numbers and flashing the business and flashing the money and going after business, business, business people. And so his, his thing was, you don't have to go find a networker because everyone's a networker. And he believed that if you could rather than finding one person that goes bonkers and generates you all of your income in the business model, what if you were to partner with say 10 people uh, over time, customers who graduate into the business and you partner with those individuals 
and you actually help each of them get to five cycles a week. Now, here's what's cool about the five cycle a week, Mark. Anybody that's been involved in, in our business model for any length of time, we know that five cycles a week is very doable. I mean, anybody can do it. So it, I crack up if someone was to say, well, not everybody can succeed. I beg to differ because I really believe everybody and anybody could get to five cycles a week. And I think five cycles a week is around $1,200 a month in income, uh, which for the average person, the average family, it makes a massive major difference. But where Patrick was so clever was he said, let's look at how five cycles a week, five people on your right team and five people on your left team, each doing five cycles a week. Let's look at how that compounds you know, your income potential up above. And it does. <laughs> I can't tell you exactly how much you'd be generating an, an income if you had, you know, five on your right cycling five times a week, five on your left cycling five times a week. I don't know what that number is, but it's a lot of money. It is. And that's the cool part about this is just do this. Just, just do the business. You don't have to know all of the, the ins and outs and the stats and the and the figures and the logistics, you really don't. Because if you work with people and graduate them into the business, they want to share the shred. They want to help people based on their own personal results. They don't have to be networkers. They don't have to be business people. And I'm telling you, it's true. What Patrick taught, the Patrick principle is true. Partner with anybody and everybody. You just never know. Uh, you know, you never know. You never know who's going to be your next person and boy could anybody and everybody do five cycles a week bob you tell me 100 percent. i mean that that is achievable um obviously to go beyond that let's say a hundred thousand a year or more that does require a certain skill set and you have to have the network and the ability to connect um but to get to five cycles a week um there's a lot of people in our ear shred community that are starting to see that and they're starting to see, wow, this is achievable and they get excited. And this is the part about the business or the misconception about the business. And part it's, it's the industry. They teach you, get your big fish on the left, one on the right and you're done. Um, does it happen? I think I've, I know two people with an isogenics where that happened. Um, but that's it. Um, the reality is that when you look at our industry or our isogenics per se, you look at the numbers in the back office and they'll tell you, I mean, if you make over, I think 50,000 a year, you're in the top 1% of all associ associates, you know, so when some people go, oh, 50,000 is nice, but that's not the big money I hear about. So I think what we're doing here with our community, Sean, and this is the, this is the key where the business and the product mindset blend together and that is we're real we're authentic it's heart-based and it's about caring for others as much as you care for yourself but the willingness to spread the wealth to spread the good fortune and this community that we're growing we've proven it in the last year look how much it's grown it's literally unbelievable the other part is when we build from a heart-centered focus the retention is more than it's off the charts great. And as you have taught me, taught me Sean, or your dad, um, in this industry of network marketing, it isn't how many people you can get involved, it's how many people you can keep. And the retention is key. That's probably more important than just signing them up. It's, can you get them to stay within the group? And that's what I am so excited about the ER Shred. So the five cycle, the Patrick rule is in my opinion, that is the essence. That is the business. And we've proven it with ER Shred. Um, the other part is, with this concept, everybody has the opportunity to be successful if you stay with it long enough. If you can get enough people cycling five times a week, and of course, they're going to grow from that. Our business model, and I don't want to get in the weeds about business, but the reason why it's so unique and why it's so amazing, it's the number one business I've ever seen no glass ceilings, it's purely, it's just pure effort, um, is the fact that it takes advantage of leverage and compounding. Those are the two miracles of finance. And 
we have the ability within our business model to take advantage of both. And that's where the five cycle rule comes in. It doesn't have to be, I got to find my whale, as you said. So we're going to call this the Patrick rule, right, Sean? That's right. So who is Patrick Greenlaw? So I'll bring this in and then we'll bring Colin in to talk about his uncle. Um, I find it as a privilege that um, I knew Patrick. I considered him a dear friend. He was... Um, he was amazing. He was an individual that is so unique that I remember when he walked into um, the LA Coliseum when we were there, the convention center, we had 10, remember that was our first event we had close to 10,000 people at, and it was just jam packed. I think it was 2008 or nine. And I remember Patrick walked in, he was wearing one of his, you know, suits from when he was a professional, you know, he looked dressed to the tens and I'm like, buddy, you got to put on a name tag. I go, come on, wear your name tag. He said, I don't wear any name tag. He goes, everybody knows me. And I'm like, oh, come on. But when he would enter a room, his energy um, was so amazing that you could feel his presence. He would shift a room just by him walking into it. Um, Patrick Greenlaw, he is an amazing man, was an amazing man. I still consider him. He's with me to this day. I talk to him. Um, Patrick um, was brilliant. He graduated, graduated summa cum laude from, I think it was Boston University, Colin. Is that right? Or Boston College? Boston University. Um, Boston University. He okay, uh, got his degree in journalism and um, he was an anchor. He was an uh, anchor on CNN. In fact, when I was in the financial industry, glued to the TV set because of the Iraq war, this is the first Iraq war in 91, 92, um, Bernie Sanders and the others were over in Iraq hiding out in some hotel. And Patrick was by himself running the entire CNN desk for that entire week or longer, it seemed like. So he was one of the main anchors on CNN when CNN first started. He was one of the original anchors. From there, he'd been a news anchor in Dallas, Texas. He was a news anchor in uh, Salt Lake City before that. Um, but he had won several, several, uh, is it called um, Edwin R. Murrow Awards, I believe, right? And Emmy Awards. I mean, he was literally, um, Patrick was as good as it gets in his industry. One of the things that he loved to do is he liked the stories of the underachiever or people who overcame obstacles. Um, he did a lot of work with children's hospitals and just situations where people were able to basically improve themselves that had that, oh my gosh, you know, they took themselves from a very, very difficult situation and they basically were able to make a positive change in their community and, and therefore become successful themselves. So Patrick, when he came to Isogenics, it was because of Peter. And Peter literally tried to get Patrick to do our program forever. And like good brothers, it was like it was family and Patrick wasn't going to listen to Peter. And so ultimately, Peter said, Bob, he said, Patrick, if he's going to listen to anybody, he's going to listen to you. You got to get him to do a nine day. And um, thankfully, after about a year or two of just constantly beating him up, he finally said yes in May of like 2006 or something like that. But the crazy thing is, is that he had an amazing result. And with that, he became probably one of the most passionate advocates for isogenics. Uh, for those old timers around here in our ER Shred group, you'll remember that he started a Tuesday call and he invited the entire country to it. And that Tuesday morning call, um, I can't think of the girl's name off the top of my head, but the one who had Down syndrome, Angela. And Angela, Angela. He did a call and he had Angela as his co-host, but he would talk about the essence of isogenics. And I will, I will dare say that probably was the precursor to ER Shred because it talked about one team. It talked about leading from the heart. It talked about sharing from a standpoint of gratitude. And more important than anything else, it talked about that this is a business model that the little guy, the little gal, has the ability to be successful. You don't have to be an MBA. You don't have to be a super networker. You don't have to be a internet influencer. So when you're hearing Sean or you hear anybody within the air community talk about our opportunity, 
We're literally, we're leading from the heart, but we're leading with the knowledge of knowing that it takes a lot of people to make this thing work. Um, what was his name? And I'll think of it here in a second. Ah, I had it earlier. I was talking to Peter, um, an oil tycoon, uh, the oil, J. Paul Getty made a comment. J. Paul Getty was one of the richest men in the world at the time. He was one of the wealthiest oil ty tycoons. He made uh, a, um, a quote saying, I would rather have 1% of 100 men than 100% of one individual in terms of their performance. Colin, are you still there? I lost his audio. I mean, his, his video. Um, Colin, are you still there? He's back. Sorry, I had I had a guest nope. arrive and all my dogs were going crazy. So I had to mute and go tell him to shh. <laughs> That's great. So no, so Jay Paul Getty made the comment. It's a famous network marketing quote. People will use it basically saying again, I'd rather have 1% of 100 men or women than 100% of one individual's output. Um, and that's really, that's our business. So Patrick was an, an award-winning um, journalist, anchorman. And I'm gonna show here, I'm gonna share my screen so everyone can see what Patrick was like back in the day. And let me do this. Okay, here we go. That's older. Okay, here's Patrick. So this is when I remember him in the 80s on CNN. Um, this was, uh, this was Patrick Greenlaw. Here's another good picture of him. And I shouldn't, I shouldn't jump through these things. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, he was very, very well dressed. And when he showed up to the Isa Jenks events, he would wear these, these suits that he wore on television. I mean, he was so well dressed. It was crazy. Um, but here's Patrick at an Isa Jenks event. And this is Peter Greenlaw and, um, his, daughter, Brittany Greenlaw, who is soon to be an ER shredder. She's doing the ER shred right now. Um, she hasn't cleansed in quite a while. She spoke to both Colin and Peter, and we'll talk about this soon, um, about what how excited she is, not only about being back again and experiencing isogenics, but experiencing it from an ER shed shredder's perspective. Um, anyhow, I couldn't be happier for where we're at with Pat with the Patrick rule. And now I need to bring in Colin and my wife will show me how to stop sharing. There we go. All right, Colin. What's up? Colin Greenwell. Okay, so Colin is on our board of directors of ER Shred. Lucky he's me. He's been what a shredder. Honor. What an you've honor. Been yes, you've been a shredder since January. Um, your pictures have been amazing. I've had you on several times as a guest. Your energy is absolutely amazing you um you channel uncle patrick better than anybody as far as your energy and i'd also like to say which from sean's perspective um patrick had this had similar energy to his his mother randy escobar so if anybody knows who randy escobar is she is the kindest heart that has just pours empathy and love and when she enters a room you have that same sense of oh wow something just shifted and I always joke, I think Randy Escobar's mother nature, because when she comes in, you literally feel like, wow, she just puts a little angel dust on you and you feel like you're a million bucks. But Patrick had that same energy, Colin. And why don't we start off and uh, tell us about what Uncle Patrick meant to you? Oh, man, he meant the world to me. I mean, it was pretty cool being a kid and you look and see your uncle on the cheap television screen, you know, and your dad watching him. And so I, I looked up to uncle Patrick big time, um, all my childhood because he was living this bigger than normal life. And he was just such a nice guy. And, you know, he was traveling all over the world. And, um, I just, you know, I looked up to him probably as much as I looked up to my own father, you know, and, um, you know, obviously I didn't get to spend as much time with Patrick because, you know, he lived, we always lived in different areas of the country and stuff. But when we did get together, it was just such an amazing time. And I felt like him and I were like kindred souls. And, you know, like you said, I feel like I have a lot of my dad's qualities, but I have a lot of my uncle Patrick's qualities as well. And, 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 you know, especially from like an empathetic standpoint and, and just like really trying, you know, I learned something from him. I always saw the way he lifted people up and I saw the way he would lift me up and it meant a lot to me. And especially with Angela, um, you know, I don't, 
a lot of people on this call probably aren't familiar with her, but she had Down syndrome and she went on the protocol and had absolutely amazing results, guys. She lost like 50 pounds. She looked great. She was putting on lean muscle mass and she came alive. I mean, she was functioning at a higher level, speaking at a higher level, all learning how to, all these amazing, incredible things. And the way Patrick really lifted her up in the company was really something special. And at the time, I mean, he made Angela a star. I mean, he was a star, but he brought her up with him. And, you know, that was, that was one of the most amazing things I've seen in my life. And, you know, I always knew that, but at that point, I just knew what a special human being he was and just how much he, you know, cared for others and would take the shirt off his back for another person. Same as my dad. They're, they're the same when it comes to back quality. Those are two men that are just, will do anything to help other people. And, and we'll do anything to lift other people up. So, you know, just to make a long story short, I'm so grateful and blessed that I learned from my dad and Patrick. I mean, what two amazing male influences you could you could have in your life. And and to be honest, you know, as a kid, Patrick was this star. He was the star of the family, you know. And my dad, you know, was selling custom kitchens and all that stuff. And then the roles kind of changed later in life where, you know, then, you know, Patrick, you know, wasn't on the news as much anymore. And then my dad really took off an isogenic. So um, it was just really cool to see the two of them come together in isogenics there, because at the beginning, Patrick would tease my dad so much about isogenics and he would tease me. You don't take this stuff. You call it, you don't, you don't really take this. Right. Right. I'm like, Patrick, yes, I do. I take it every day. I love it. And you need to be taking it too, you know? And so it took some time, like you said, Bob, to work on it. But once he came along, he came along and, and he started sharing the products and he brought some amazing marketing. I mean, give, just give us four days was uncle Patrick day five, come alive. Like you said, there's a lot of similarities between that call and ER shred. Well, there really is. And especially the like day five, come alive. That was something Patrick, you know, he said, just give us four days, but it, it's the same it's the same. Let, point. Let's let's talk about that. I don't I don't think people really are going to grasp that. Um, that was the moniker, or I would say that was the the jingle that Patrick came up with and said, "Just give us four days," which meant you did your two days of pre cleanse, your two days of cleansing. Day five was your come alive, right? Hopefully, but as Patrick would say, "Just give us four days," because those four days would give you enough of a result to really blow your mind. And, yeah, by day um, five, you know. I mean, you, everyone knows, guys. By day five, we know how incredible this protocol so, is. So, I mean, That's we can tough. use, you know, we could use that same today if we wanted to, right, Colin? We could say, just give us four days. Yeah, let's use, I mean, I use it all the time. I use it in memory of my uncle all the time. It's genius. And, and he was spot on with that. And it's it's a it's an easier elephant to eat one bite at a time when you're thinking of five days and not 30 or 11. Just, just give me till the fifth morning, guys. Give me till the fifth morning. If you're not happy that fifth morning, we can talk about reimbursing your money or figuring out another. I say that it's so rare that happens. People, they call me morning five and they're just, thank you, God. Thank you, Colin. Thank you, God. I've been looking for something like this for 20 years, you know? Well, so, to set it up back five, then, five, all we had was the nine day, right? And um, because of that, all the marketing was focused on that nine day result. But as Patrick recognized, it really, you got a significant result, almost half your result in that first four days, thus the saying, just give it four days. Um, one of the things that I always, you, you hit on something that's so true. Patrick was, was an individual that is a rarity in that it didn't matter who was in his presence. When they left his presence, they always left a better person. You were moved, you felt just totally enhanced. I don't know. How, I don't know how to put it into words, but I felt elevated and I felt my energy rise just because Patrick was in the room with me. And then when he but left sales, you know, you really would. Um, oh, and I just remember the people would just praise he, they should praise him, but they'd be like, Oh, Patrick, you're so wonderful. And it was amazing how he was able to move people but I think in part, it's because he was so humble. I mean, yeah. here he is, one of the leading anchors in the United States. He traveled the world. He's interviewed presidents and prime ministers and just about you name it. He, the queen, I mean, it's just crazy who he's, who he's interviewed. He, though, was one of the most humble people I've ever met. You would never know this about him uh, unless you happen to be there on television or you asked him, right? Yep. He, po he focused, all his focus was on 
the people in his presence and what that he could do for them. So Colin, let's talk about, okay, so we've got the Patrick principle, which is the concept of we, we work as coaches who are co business coaches. We want to get everybody to five cycles. Um, you've employed, even though we didn't call it the Patrick rule, you've employed this concept um, from the very beginning with your father working the Greenlaw group. Yep. Um, and even to this day. So why don't you start sharing your story again with ER Shred and the success that you've had in the past uh, year? Yeah, I mean, well, I started ER Shred, well, almost a year, because the first one I did was in January. Kind of before that, I was starting a little bit, like eating more grass-fed beef and stuff, but I hadn't done a full protocol until January 4th. And then that fifth day, we actually did a call like this. Um, and it was my fifth day and, or no, my fourth, I'm sorry, fourth day at night. And I, I mean, I remember calling you telling you, wow, man, there's, there's something special to this. I've been doing this 16 and a half years. I've never felt as good as I feel now. And, and I did, I think two months before that, I did almost six straight weeks of cleansing two days a week. And I still had never even come close to the way I felt when I went on the ER shred. And so a light bulb went off in my head that, wow, this, this, oh, really I, I got to get you to, you got us excited what you did, but say that again, you were doing the old traditional system, which exactly. was focusing on a balance of carbs, proteins, and healthy fats, like a zone diet, 30, 40, 30, whatever. Yep. And you had cleansed how many times doing the two day fast? Before I did the ER shred, I'd probably done it six out of the last 10 weeks. Okay. I had never and came close to feeling what I felt. Even before. with that intensity or that focus of cleansing, which is really a Herculean effort, most people wouldn't do that. You still noticed a difference when you went to ER shred. Huge. Because after I'd cleanse, I'd go and then I'd start putting in carbs and I'd be eating a lot of fruit and all these things I thought were so good for me. And it just you know, something about it. Just, it wasn't, I wasn't getting that aha moment day five come alive that I felt on ER shred. It just, there was just no comparison. I mean, I felt like I got shot out of a rocket ship that fourth day. And I just, I remember, I remember calling you and being like, dude, like what the F is going on here? Like I had almost like an out of body experience where I said, holy this, there is something to this. I've never felt so good in my life. And then, you know, obviously I'm always, I've, I was always sharing even before ER shred, you know, I've, I've always, you know, had a knack of just, you know, sharing my story with others and, and sharing info with them and, you know, having a good percentage of people who, you know, are willing to join me or at least give it, a, give it a shot. And, you know, and I've always been successful with that, but after ER shred, I've never seen so many people come out of the woodworks. Like I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. And I've never had so many people talking, you know, like when, you know, when, when ladies, you know, you know, see a good movie or they find a good restaurant, what do they do? They tell all their girlfriends about it. It was the same thing was happening with ER shred. It was, everyone was talking, 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 and it just started growing. And, and, you know, and I've always been someone who follows up, follows up, follows up. I know, you know, co coaching for each individual is differently, but for me, I've always felt that, that's super important. And for me, it's not like, hey, you need to order more shakes. It's literally, hey, how are you doing? How is your week going? How is your month going? How are you feeling? I'm genuinely checking in on these people because, you know, after they go through this protocol, you build legitimate friendships with these people. I mean, when you're helping someone completely transform their health and their life, you're going to build a rapport and a very tight bond with that person. And so, you know, I've just found in the last year from ER Shred A, people cleanse easier. They have less symptoms. They complain less. I mean, you know, people just enjoy the protocol more. It's easier to follow. And I'll tell you what, the retention I've seen, I've never seen any retention like that. Even if someone will go off and maybe for a few weeks, they stop doing shakes or whatever, they're always calling me, oh, I need another ER shred. I've never had so many people reach out to me and say, I need another ER shred. It's not me saying you need another ER shred. What's the whole thing about ER shred? Giving the people the power to decide, right? Well, that's what we've done here. I have people contacting me all the time. I need another ER shred. I'm, you know, I want to do an ER shred. I mean, it's just, it's so easily marketable and people are having such a, such an amazing experience that we're turning into magnets where we're just attracting people out of the woodworks because I'm telling you what guys, 99% of the people in the world right now need this period. 
period. There's no, who doesn't need this? Please tell me. There's not one person. I don't care if you're the healthiest person on planet, period. So we basically, in my opinion, have one of the greatest health protocols on planet earth, period. And, you know, at the moment, it's probably one of the biggest issues in our world is, 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 is the health of the population of the planet. So, I mean, just, I just think at the, at the time and where we're at and we're a year into this thing and how well the products, the programs work. And I just think this is the beginning of a perfect storm. And if, and if you want to build this as a side income or a five a week cycle or 10 or even more great, I, I, I truly, I truly believe this is the best I've ever seen this opportunity in my life because it just seems like everything is is coming together at the same time. And the driving force of that, in my personal opinion, is is ER Shred and the results people are having within the first five or six days. So, Colin, let's just so we can paint the picture. Obviously, you're Peter Greenlaw's son. You're helping your dad. You're partnering with your dad to run the Greenlaw Group. Um, that business, except for this last twelve months, primarily has been hundred percent. Um, your dad refers to it as the race to maintenance, which is the traditional way of doing the program that John Anderson taught, which is two, five, two with a, with balanced meals approach. Yeah. Now that you've experienced ear shred and you've mentioned that this is the easiest and it's like bigger, faster, stronger, total out of body experience. When people come to you, often they come to you because they're familiar with your father. They're familiar with um, what your journey has been for the last 17 years, 18 years with isogenics, how do you, when they ask you about the program, I mean, you have a unique way of positioning it because you still offer both, but you let yeah. them decide. So um, part of it is going to be your energy and how you share it. That's my guess. I mean, but I I'd mean, like I let them share, choose, but I persuade them a little like, Hey, you should really look <laughs> into this ER shred. It's going to blow your socks off, but Hey, so, you make your own choice, you know, <laughs> but share with everybody that's on the call and everybody who will be watching in on YouTube in the future. Um, how you propose that when people come to you and say, I'm kind of interested in the program. Um, I'd like to do it. How do you literally, what's the next, how do you put it in verbiage? What's the next step? How do you share? Well, I mean, I always give them the option of, you know, Hey, do you want to do balanced meals or, you know, on the shake days, would you like to eat grass fed steak until you're satisfied? Or do you want to create a 600 calorie meal? Like a scientist putting little things here and there, or do you want to eat as much as you can and feel great? And then go into your cleanse. Essentially, in my opinion, already to some degree, almost on like day two, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? It's like, mm -hmm. when we go into the first cleanse day, we're almost a day ahead because we've already cut out all this, the carbs and all the sugar. So you're already kind of in fat adaptive fat burning mode. Correct. Right. So I mm -hmm. think that's part of the reason why people are having, you know, such better, but I just tell people, look, this is, I've been in this company 18 years. I've seen tens of thousands of people go through this program. Right. And I've seen a lot more people go through this program doing the race to maintenance, balanced meals than ER shred. But I'll tell you what, I have never in my life seen the results that I have seen when I have put my people on the ER shred because there's something magic when you cut, when you completely cut carbs out of your diet, nine out of 10 people say, I want to do the ER shred. Usually the ones who don't want to do the ER shred, they're vegan, they don't eat meat, which is fine. That's okay. No worries. You know, that's why we give them the choice, but I got to be honest out of the probably last hundred people I've signed up 80 plus have done ER shred. So, um, now that you have a comparison of the two worlds, what, how is it coaching someone in ER shred compared to the traditional? <laughs> Simple because I mean, a thousand less questions <laughs> people are having. An, I mean, you remember Bob dragging someone through their first two cleanse days was like pushing the the things in football when you're practicing blocking and the coach would stand <laughs> on that thing and you'd have to give it your all i mean that was like getting someone through a two-day cleanse now it's like i'm like how are you doing amazing great i'm i'm like wait 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 what 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 usually i have to like talk people off the ledge from quitting and people are saying 
not only do I feel great, I'm enjoying my cleanse. I, I genuinely enjoy cleanses now. I hated them before. I genuinely enjoy them now because when you go in already with the sugar out, it's a thousand times easier. Now we got the bone broth. You know, I, me personally, I add in the amp. I love the amp. So we have all these things that help us get through these cleanse days. And it's just, it's, it's simpler than it's ever been. The retention is far greater than I've ever seen in my life. And people are having the best results I've ever seen, period. That's it. That's all you have to tell people. You just, so, you just be honest and tell them what it did to you. And people are going to say, I want what you have. One of the beauties of what we have here, and this is where I think this is another element of the depth or the magic in the bottle, um, is that a lot of people will tell you that have done the traditional side, I burned out coaching or I got exhausted. It was too much work. Um, how are you now re-sharing with those individuals who remember the old days and you're, they're coming back, they've done the ER shred, but they're, they're now taking a new interest in sharing. I mean, we've seen some people come back to our organization that we thought were gone. Oh yeah, well, it's all attested to how good you feel on this program. I'll tell you what, when I'm on this protocol, when I'm cleansing, when I'm fully into this thing, I'm attracting new people every day. I'm getting messages, I'm ready, I'm getting this, I'm getting that. When I am fully engaged in the program, I'm fully attracting people on a daily basis. Now, I'm all, I drink my shakes every single day. I'm probably 90%, but I, I still have my days or what, you know, hey, progress, not perfection. I tell all my people that no one's perfect. No one's ever going to be perfect. But what if you can figure out kind of, you know, what works for you and what you can incorporate into your lifestyle and all those types of things. And, and, you know, I'll just, there's just such a difference in how motivated I am, how much more I'm sharing, how much more I'm helping people when I'm also fully, you know, I've jumped full head first into the pool with the protocol as well. So it just, it goes so hand in hand that if you really want to build this as a business, it's so important that you're following the protocol as closely and as much as you can. And just being, it's just such a product of the product business. It really is. And people are, like I said, people will just come out of the woodworks when they see how good you're feeling. And when you're just giving off that energy, because there's something, there's something supernatural to this program as well, in my personal opinion, because when you go on this, it's like, it's like a greater high than any high you've ever felt in your life. It truly is. There's something special when you're really thriving on this program and you're exercising, you're drinking your water and you're just, you, you feel like almost superhuman. And I just think when you're in that mindset and when you're in that flow state, you don't have to know how you're going to get the next person. You just have to know you're going to get the next person. You don't have to know how you're going to get them. They're going to show up in your life somehow. Just be open. Have those doors open and ready to welcome them in with a big hug and say, come on in. Welcome to the family. Because everybody out there is looking for this, guys. I'm telling so, you. Colin, you said something that this is kind of, this guy gave me goosebumps. But you mentioned about being in the flow state. Or in other words, like being in the zone, right? And when you're when you're in the flow state, life is easy. It just everything comes naturally, right? Incredible, yeah. Go back to the days when you were all state basketball player in Colorado and you were hitting threes like no tomorrow, you were in the zone, right? Yeah. yeah. That's being in the zone. How does this feel being in the zone? Isn't there a similarity? Big time in terms of how you feel energetically energetic yeah it's just incredible like i said it's almost a supernatural undescribable feeling that only us er shredders it's like when you're a parent you can't explain to someone else what it's like being a parent until you're a parent my mom always told me that she's like you're never going to understand how much you can love something until you have children colin so you don't understand how much i love you and it's like oh yeah okay mom but she was so right and then i had kids it's like oh okay now i'm a father i'm part of the parent club it's a it's a very special club it's the same thing with er shred it's an undescribable feeling that we all know 
but you have to experience it to get to that point, right? You got to get to that day five, day six. But I, I feel a lot of people by day five, six, seven, they're already getting close to that flow state. And there, and there's probably a lot of people on this call who, since they've gone into ER shred, have really started to succeed in other areas of their life. It doesn't always have to be business. You could be succeeding in, in your, in your relationships. You could be succeeding, you know, in whatever you do. If you're playing sports or if you like to exercise, maybe you like to ride your bike you ride a dirt bike, you ski, you surf, whatever. I know there's so many people in the last year, this 20,000, 30,000, who knows how many thousands of people have done this. I guarantee there are so many people who've gone on this program and had no idea how this would carry over into so many different aspects of their life until you actually do it, you go through it and you feel it. And then once you feel it, there's never, there's, there's no going back guys. Once you do ER shred, there's no going back. This is, we're in this for life. Why would you go back? Even, even if you happen to be Peter who is biting his tongue when he hears you saying there's no going back once you do ER shred. He, um, he, he battled me. He, Not really. He's coming along and he's, he's, my dad's amazing. He supports me no matter what I do. It doesn't matter. He's going to be in my corner, period. So but he, he's but a the one thing, PR shred supporter. He is. And the re main reason is it's all about results. It's all about results. And he loves Sean. He loves you. He loves me. He loves Tony and Ramming. You know, Tony mentored my dad, period. I mean, we right. talked about that story before. You can ask my dad. He'll tell you. He went with a pen and a paper to Salt Lake City to see Randy and Tony. He sat there for four days and wrote hundreds of pages of notes. I mean, his whole journey, I, I got to be honest, we owe a lot of our success to the Escobars because I remember when my dad and mom went out there and that was the turning point when we went from like one or two, three cycles to within a few months, my dad's like, oh, I'm giving you the kitchen business. I'm done with it. And I'm like, what? What do you mean? He went from making a few hundred bucks a week to replacing his income in a company he had for 30 years guys in about probably six months to a year so and don't i mean he worked his butt off but guys the thing is you you catch a little momentum in this thing and it can take off like you can't believe that's why you just never give up that's why you never doesn't matter who the person is have zero expectations just go in get them on the product let's see what happens so colin and i gotta go, ask you this Everybody wants, everybody wants to know what is the secret sauce? What does Peter Greenlaw, Sean, Tony Escobar, Randy Escobar, what does Colin Greenlaw know about the business? How do you build your business? What do you do differently um, that we don't know about? I mean, I think a lot of one thing we all have in common of that group you just mentioned is we all truly care about other people and we all truly care about other people getting healthy. And I truly believe out of that group of people you mentioned, we care more about changing and transforming lives than we do about money. Now, do we like money? Of course. Do I like to buy my son and my wife nice things? Of course I do. Do I want to be the best at everything I do? Of course I do. Do I want to make a lot of money? Of course I do. Is there anything wrong with that? Absolutely not. Because guess what? If when I make a lot of money, that's a direct reflection on how many people I help. So when people say, oh, you know, the okay, I get it. I don't always talk about them. I don't always want to do that. But guys, guess what? The best way we can help as many people as we possibly can is to do this as a business and to teach other people to get that, that one, two, three, four, five cycles, guys. Because like you said earlier, Bob, would you guys rather do 100% of the work or have 100 people doing 1% of the work? I'll tell you what, when you have a team of people, like-minded individuals, you're all working together, you're all putting in the time, you're all, you know, doing what's necessary, it's 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 amazing and it's and it's far more enjoyable, it's far more sustainable and it's far more fun than trying to do it on your own because doing it on your own, you're going to get burnt out. You are you know, and what's so great about this business is it's the way they created the comp plan. The only way to succeed is to create a team and to work together as a team, period. So Colin, what, how do you, how do you find people to do ER shred? What do you, how, how do you share? Well, one thing, one great thing that like, I would recommend to every single person here I do, every person I talk to is 
especially once they start having good results and stuff. I just say, look, you're, you're starting to have amazing results. I know people are already starting to ask, Hey, you know, what are you doing? You know? And at that point, people have no idea what to say. So I tell them, look, don't say a word, just say, all I know is I feel amazing. I would love to connect you with my good friend, Colin Greenlaw. And he can tell you all about it like he did with me. And then I just ask my people to simply connect me on a three-way text message. Hey, Colin, this is my buddy, Jen. She's really interested in learning more about the products. Can you, can you set up a time to chat with her? Hey, Jen, this is Colin Green. I'd love to set up a time to chat today or tomorrow. I don't give them enough time to get out of it. You want to you wanna make it within, the, within 48 hours, period. Time is of the essence, right? So I strike while the iron's hot. I get them on the phone. I have two calls this week. Uh, my buddy Wes, who's been, he's probably the best at this. I mean, him and I make a great duo. We signed up another one of his buddies this week, ER Shred. He's super excited to start. I have another call tomorrow from a guy I just brought in. Literally, he's been in the pro maybe a couple weeks and he already has done a three-way text intro to me. Guys, the, it's, it's so simple. A person who started yesterday can literally introduce the person who connected them in a three-way text to someone else and then let let the higher authority take it from there. So if you're just getting started, you're when I first got started, guys, I was so nervous to talk to people. I was so scared. How does my dad do that? How does my dad ask the, the lady in the gas station if she needs to lose weight? Oh my gosh, that's so mortifying. I could never do that. <laughs> uh, you know, all in my head. And it was all BS. You know, and and so um, yeah, I mean, it's just it's just getting out of your own way and just and just share your story, share your story, share your story. I'm sure most of you out there go see a good movie. You tell a lot of people about it. So, I mean, why why wouldn't you do the same for a health protocol that's going to do a, a whole lot more for a person than going to see a movie or a good restaurant or a good coffee place, whatever it is. We all network on a daily basis, whether we realize it or not. And even and you guys will start to notice if you guys start to notice, even banks are starting to do multi-level marketing. I'm sure a lot of you are starting to get emails, refer three friends, and we'll give you $500 for your referral to Chase Bank. It's starting to happen. This is the business model of the future, period. And the ones who laughed at us 15 years ago, whatever, um, there's still a chance you guys can still join us because I'm telling you what the next 20 years is going to be more exciting than the last 20, in my opinion. And uh, if I look at the last 20, your, your father, your mom, uh, Sean, uh, Sean's parents, Randy and Tony, um, they didn't do too badly the, the first 20. No. And um, I do believe that from my heart that I think the next 20 years, especially with the ER shred, I think that the opportunity in front of us is infinitely greater than what it was when we first started with the traditional system because of the ease and the results. Right. Well, all the tools we have and look at this community. We have 20,000, 30,000 people in this community, guys. We didn't have Bob. When we first started, we didn't have a group. We can invite someone to on Facebook and they can get support without us even doing anything. I don't think you guys realize what an incredible tool that is Sean created for us. You guys need to utilize that tool. If you sign up someone and you're not inviting them to the ER shred group and you're trying to build a business, I'm not sure what you're doing guys. One of the most important things for your retention is right away before their products even arrive. The second you get off the phone with them and you place your order, you invite them to our ER Shred community. If they have any desire in building a business, you invite them to our ER Shred biz community. These are tools that we're putting in place for you guys. Here's the cool thing, guys. Bob, myself, Randy, Tony, Sean, Peter, we dug the Panama Canal with a spoon. We no longer have spoons, guys. We have huge machinery and we're ready to move some earth this next 20 years and and together we're going to all do it and there's no doubt in my mind literally with this program we can make a huge dent in the world's health issue which is probably the biggest issue on our planet right now is the health of human beings period if you look across the board we are so unhealthy guys we really are and we're overweight and we're tired and we're sick and we're just running on a hamster wheel and I'm trying to teach people, hey, look, you see that? That's a free pasture over there. Get off that hamster wheel and start running free. Break out of your own box and, and you know, get out of your own comfort zone. And, and you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. You just, you just got to 
go forward in life, take action, believe in yourself, be passionate and watch how many people you attract. Like you were saying, my dad's, my dad sold, he sold kitchens for 30 years, guys. He didn't come in with a huge Rolodex of 20,000 people and just start dialing. Absolutely not. Guess what he did? He started with his family, his CPA, a couple friends. And now, you know, 19 years later, he's done some incredible, incredible things. But guys, I just want to impress upon you every single person on this call, whether I know you or not, every single one of you can, can do it. Whatever it is you want to do, whatever your goal is, you can do it. You just have to believe in yourself. You have to take action and you have to wake up each morning and believe in yourself. Because if you're not going to believe in yourself, who is, you know, and when you take care and control your health, one of the hardest things in life, I have so much respect for people who concentrate on their health, people who eat healthy, people who are fit, because I know how hard it is, guys. One of the hardest things in life is to lose weight and maintain a healthy lifestyle. And now we have, we have this secret weapon. This is a cheat code. This is like getting the cheat code in Nintendo 20 years ago where you never die and you could go and beat the game on one life. I mean, that's what we have here, guys. This, this is like cheating, literally. So, um, yeah, I mean, I just, I'm so excited for the future and, and, and this community we're growing and, and I just, I want to, I really want to see some stars really start to shine and let's really make this company recognize what we are here, guys. We're, we're a beast and we're going to grow on a daily basis and a monthly basis and a yearly basis. And they're gonna have to recognize how special what we're doing over here is, period. Because it's, we're doing something real special and we're gonna change the world as a community, guys. So when you look at the business, this is what's so, it just crazy simple. But the essence of the business is do the air shred, get your story, Share your story when people ask, get them results, lead people to doing a three-way text. In other words, let's mention that again. You said three-way text. What did you mean when you said higher authority? Just the person who brought you in. So, you know, like, like for instance, Wes, right? My really good friend I went to high school with, he's had amazing results. He's probably referred 70 or 80 people in the last year. And so what Wes would do is I got him on the program. He lost 60 pounds. Everyone asked him what he was doing. And so we just, him and I created this together. It was pretty cool. We're like, holy crap, we're onto something here. I almost think Wes even created it. I remember him just connecting me on a three-way text one day. He didn't even, you know, like I said, he didn't know anything about the product. So it's just super simple. Whoever brought you in. Okay. So Bob, you brought me in, right? And my friend, Jen is really interested in the program. What I'm going to do is set up a three-way text between yourself, myself, and Jen. And I'm going to say, hey, Jen, this is my dear friend, Bob. He got me involved in ER Shred a few months ago. I've never felt better in my life. I'd love for you two to connect, and he can share some more information with you. I hand you the ball on the goal line. You run the ball in for a touchdown. Hey, so nice to meet you, Jen. Do you have time to chat today or tomorrow? I'd love to set up a time to call, to set up a call. I can go over any questions you have and also go over all the details. And so the, the beauty of that, and just, I, I hope people really grasp that piece because that is truly one of the, the jewels of how to build your business. And that is, you want to get out of the convincing game and you don't want to be in, oh, I'm in network marketing, meaning no friends left because you're telling everybody in the world, you're throwing up on them about your deal, your special, et cetera. All you need to do is peak interest and pass on to what we refer to as a higher authority, just another individual so that they in turn can just answer questions. There's a psychological shift that occurs here where somebody's not expecting Colin to convince me to do this program. Oh, talk to Wes. He can tell you all about it. Wes is going to literally say, how can I help you? What questions do you have? It's so powerful. Answer all the questions. You ready to get started? Okay, cool. Let's do it. That's all it is. is. People, you know, too, they're hard, Bob. And I know you can relate. Like, like just an example, my wife, I will tell my wife something, right? My friend will tell my wife something. She'll be like, Colin, can you, I said, 
Jessica, I just told you the same thing a week ago, but then he comes in and tells you, you believe. So it's the same concept, guys. People, mm -hmm. for some reason, we have this psychological thing, especially with people you know. It's really powerful with people you know, because sometimes people you know and your family are going to be the ones to say no first. I mean, obviously, that's who we go to first when we're building a business, right? But when you, when you have a third party come in, it completely changes the dynamic of the conversation. And then when you match it with something that is so unique, like the ER shred, where you can, as you said, you can eat until you're satisfied, have as much grass fed beef and eat yep. until you're satisfied. Yep. Or I can give you a four to 600 calorie meal plan you can follow. Um, yeah. People are going to say, I want some lettuce. Sign, no, I want some, sign, I want some grass fed porterhouse. Sign me up. Well, that's so, just me. Okay. <laughs> No. And so this is such a great call. So basically when I think about it and we talk about, I know I talk with you a lot. We, we, we talk about uncle Patrick a lot and oh, he's the best. Um, I know he was your true uncle and um, it always made it warmed my heart. Cause you always, cause I hung out with Patrick. You always called me uncle Bob and I don't know when You're that started uncle, or but how, but uh, it's great. But I mean, really what this is all about is, is you had said earlier, when you mentioned Randy and Tony, your dad and Patrick and yourself, what you all have in common is you care more about others than you do yourself and about helping them, specifically helping them with their health. We're so that's really, yep. yeah. we're, we're serious empaths. I know every single one of us is. And when you come from, when you come from that place, the universe will deliver beautiful things into your life, period. I and that's it. That's the goal. So for anybody in ER Shred, all you brave people who are sharing your pictures, your before and afters, you're making Good posts. Job, for your people that are getting on and doing lives, like watching Mimi, what she's done over the past year. Um, Kathy Martinez, the people who've literally never done lives in the past. Bonnie, people who are literally now lit up. Um, all I can ask you to do is keep doing the same thing. Um, I came home, um, for those that don't know, I took a job selling memberships at a high-end um, tennis gym, which is kind of cool because I wanted to get around people who want to lose weight and feel good. And sure. I just got to be me, right? And I'm starting to attract people who want to know, well, what do you do? Um, but And wait, let's tell them, what are we going to do? What plan do you and I have with that though? Let's tell them. Well, I mean, I can't obviously just out of the rules of necessity with the business, I can't sit there and gain people into isogenics working for the company selling memberships. So I am going to be do? introducing <laughs> them to my nephew, Colin Greenlaw. No, I'm going to say, you just need to talk to my nephew. No, you just need to talk to my buddy, Colin. He can tell you all about it. He's the one who introduced it to me. Now, I know you could say, oh, but Bob, that's not authentic. You know, it's a white lie but they don't know any different. All they want is when someone has an interest in what you did, they just want the information. Yeah, it's your true. job to make the pass off as seamless and as easy as possible without telling them the long story. Just say, Colin can tell you all about it. He's the one who helped me. Great. How can I get a hold of Colin? Let me put you on a three-way text. It's, and it's, it's, it the works. key is, is remember, it's not about me. It's not about Colin. It has everything to do with that individual getting them the results. That's what they really care about. And they don't care about any of the other, the, the noise. So energetically, this is the thing we started talking about. And I'm going to bring Allison on again sometime again. I'm going to do it with you, Colin, with you and Allison going off, you know, vibing. Anytime. That would be amazing because the thing that holds people back is all between your ears. I mean, that's it. It's everything to do with mindset. Okay. And if we can help you get the right mindset, we know that by following the ER Shred protocol, we know energetically you've shifted. We know you're a happier person. Like myself, I quit watching the news a year ago. I mean, I think that was probably the one thing that Colin was like, holy shit, Uncle Bob's not watching CNBC or he's not glued to the TV. He's not talking about the news anymore. He just keeps yeah. telling me how good he feels. Yeah. Um, yeah. But we, we, and that's what happened. But you got sick and tired of like, wow, he's into this 60 days now and he hasn't changed any, dad. I mean, he's still got this, he's coming out of his skin. So that's yeah. it. We want people to experience the air shred and it's yeah. our job 
to share it appropriately, be a professional, know it that, hey, yes, I understand everything about ER Shred. Yes, I could probably answer all their questions. But again, it's not about me knowing all the answers. It's about positioning it so that your person can get on board and get their answers, their questions answered. And that is the three-way text. That's the handoff, if you will. And if you can, if you can get that one skill down, the rest of the business is easy, right, Colin? It's uh, it's so easy, guys. It's so easy. Just keep it simple, guys. Don't complicate yourself. I don't know if I, I wrote in the chat earlier, but guys, if you were to ask me what the different bonuses were and stuff like that, I got to be honest, I have no freaking idea. And you know how successful I've been in this company? Don't get, don't get lost in all the logistical stuff. Create your story, share your story, help others duplicate. It's simple, simple, simple. The way you're going to be successful is keeping it simple. That's just my personal opinion. That's it. Keep it. Keep your focus on on what what the real deal is. And that's keep your result. focus on the focus on the individual, their results. That's the real deal. If you do that and nothing but that, the money follows. And guys, just one thing I want to add, and I know everyone's different, but I just you know, anybody you enroll or whatever, I just, I truly believe in my heart. It's so important that you just stay in contact with those people, guys. Like you can ask Bob, like I have a book of all the people I've signed up in the last year. It's over a hundred people. And I reach out to them at least once or twice a month. And it's not, Hey, you need to order more. It's how are you doing? How are you feeling? How's your health? And I'll tell you what, guys, I've built so many amazing relationships with these people. And I'll tell you what, about 50% of the time when I reach out to these people too, without even myself mentioning anything about ER Shred or Isogenics, they will mention to me, Colin, you know, I really need to do another ER Shred. Or, you know, I've been, I've been doing a shake a day, but I think I, I want to go strict again, beginning of the year. All the time, guys, follow-up is so important in this business. And now with ER Shred, it's so much easier to coach people, guys. You don't have to do, it's not as time consuming. Just ask them how they're doing every other day or whatever. I'll tell you what, that will go so far in building your business, especially if you guys are just getting started out. You have to water each and every one of those seeds on a daily basis, like Randy and Tony and Sean and my dad did. That's how they built their businesses, guys, was continuing to water their seeds, continuing to lift people up like my uncle Patrick taught us how to do and just continue to stay on the protocol. And you're, go the, you're gonna be a magnet for the universe to send you people to help, period. Don't rack your brain figuring out how you're gonna get the people. Just be a product of the product, share your story and attract others. I'm telling you guys, it works. Keep it simple, stay on the products, share your story. That's it, beautiful. Thanks, my man. Yeah, thank you, buddy. So tell me, how, how cold is it down there in Costa Rica right it's now? It's freezing because I'm in 18 Celsius air conditioning. No, but it's like 100 degrees outside, so... <laughs> So it's our summers here it's hot guys i don't know i'm sunburned I, I surfed this morning and i got super sunburned but it's um it's really hot you know i'm blessed and here's another thing guys i'm a kid from colorado i now live in costa rica with my costa rican wife and my costa rican son and we li i live in paradise and guess how and why this is possible because there was one day in my life when i said wow this program this company is amazing i'm gonna take a leap of faith here and i'm gonna run with this thing and now i'm literally living my dream life and i just want every one of you to know it's it's as possible for you as it was for me you just have to believe and you just got to wake up in the morning and take action that's all wonderful thank you colin from the bottom of my heart man love you buddy you are it you're the that's man why no, you, I love yeah. you guys all. And Sean, thank that was you so much. Beautiful. For thank you so much, Colin. I love you guys. Mimi, love you're, Colin. you're the best. I love all you guys. You guys are all my family. Whether I know you or not, I love you. Hey, I sent <laughs> pictures of the horse for your son to see. Oh, thank you so much. I'll yeah, check those out. Chester's on your messenger. Thank you. We saw horses at sunset tonight. Uh, they were oh, doing cool. horseback riding for sunset. So he saw oh, some horses cool. this afternoon, too. <laughs> but he all loves right. them. Thank you, I'm Mimi. Glad. 
All okay, right. um, Bob, you know, what I, Thank you, Bob. you know what I like? I, I like calling certainty. It's, it's yep. pretty cool. It's My pretty what? damn cool. I've you always have, said that. You have that. absolute certainty. I believe, yes. brother. Woo! Woo! So do you, man. We have that in common. You, man. Thank you. Thank you. Right? And, it, and it's extra special, though, Colin, because we know, we know your dad. I love your dad. But I know how intense he is with his belief system. Um, you get it from your father, but you are a true ear shredder. <laughs> yeah, I am. Hey, he knows it. My dad knows. It. Sorry, buddy. I'm ear shred. But he's okay with it. <laughs> well, yeah, we're, we're excited. So 2022, this is going to be the year, guys. Yep. So, oh, also start- one thing before we go, guys, one thing we before we go, and I know everyone's aligned with this, but let's really, really, really push for the January ER shred, guys. Let's make that the most massive group we've had yet. Let's reach out to people who have fallen off. Let's start. Let's start now, guys. Seriously. I'm already starting to tell people, let's get ready for that, for that January ER shred. Let's make it the biggest one we've ever had. Awesome. Great. Thank you. Now, um, Sean, I'm glad it. you're on. I know, I know our heart and our prayers go out to Joan and her family and herself. Yes. They're dealing with an awful lot right now. Um, do we know what we're going to start the January date is? Are we going to look at it like a 30 days, like 30 days from the December start? I got to, I got to go past? back and look. We, we, uh, we discussed it with Heather. We figured it out. I can't remember off the top of my head, but we'll announce Okay, it. cool. Cause yeah. I know we, we no, also we wanted good. not to run into a uh, new year's kickoff with it. Right. I mean, right. I, think that, I think that was the obstacle. So we'll get the dates posted everyone. So, you know, so you can start promoting it, which is a great idea, Colin. Thank you so much. Thank you for that. Yeah, dude, of course, of course, of course. I've, I've already been starting to do it. So I figured I'd just mention let's let's all freaking do it together. And we're just going to attract even more we'll just attract as many people as we can, you know, make it Absolutely. a big bonfire. Huge. Well, thanks, Colin. Thank you, Sean. Thanks, thank you, Uncle Patrick. Thanks, and guys. The Patrick rule. Uh, thank Uncle you, Patrick, Patrick, we love you. Love you, man. Good night, everyone. Love you, Patrick. Good night. Love guys. Thank Bye, you. guys. Bye. Love my ear. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. 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 Bye.